Whoa! Hey guys, it's Madame Oreo. Happy Monday, Mario Party. Um, I have been kind of crazy trying to get everything back to normal, back to regular old Twitch. Our St. Jude Play Live event is over. It was such a fun run. I haven't even recapped it yet. I feel like I've had no time to do anything in regards to recapping and thanking everybody. Um, so I apologize for being like a step behind today. I, I wanted to have all of that kind of like um, closed out and you know professionally addressed and it's like well chaos so anyway um, I do want to take some time today and read every single donor from that uh, just to credit them that was something I meant to do last night and I totally passed over it because I didn't uh, have the page open so I like didn't even think about it but I do want to do that today before we get started and I want to thank everybody for being here I'm sorry I'm a little late I was like in the midst of switching things back because I had no time to do it last night um, I pretty much ended up on the phone all night and besides that you know it's like just regular old old life you know you gotta eat you gotta shower um, so I'm a little all over the place so I apologize for my craziness uh, but thank you so much for being here. I was gonna have a vote for what game we're playing today, but then I was just like, forget it, I'm just gonna play Mario Party 2, because we haven't seen that in a while. Um, and the N64 is already ready to go. We saw Mario Party 1 last night, saw Mario Party 3 like a week ago, might as well play some Mario Party 2. It's like the overall favorite anyway, so I was like, we're just gonna play some, some hot commods. Um, so welcome to everybody who's here. Pineapple for fun, Mega Waluigi, Mario Gamer Bull, Rosalina is the best. Armand 2017. Start of 94. Rainbow Road 1996. Diesel Valentine. Um, let's see. Armand 2017, I got you. Casanova 64. Yo Yo Yoshi 95. Yo, welcome to June. Woo! Um, welcome to summer. This, this is like one of my favorite months because it's the start of summer. Uh, Mario Gamerables in the house. I think I got you Rainbow Road 1996. I'll read your name again just in case. Balls Deep in Pizza Ba. Daniel Haruhana. Uh, and my girl Little Foo is in the house. And Odie's in the house. Odin's back. Mr. Wario's here. Yo, 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 she 95. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. Um,. So again, sorry I'm a little late. Sorry if anything is kind of like a, if there's anything lingering from the past campaign from my St. Jude campaign. I love this campaign so much. It makes me so sad when it ends and it feels so like harsh just being like, well, gotta take all the graphics off. Like I feel like I need to ease into it, but like there's no good way of doing that. So it's like oh, all my fun little St. Jude things are gone. Um, but I do want to start out the stream, and immediately I already closed this page on accident. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I want to go ahead and start out the stream by reading the names of everybody who donated to the campaign, uh, just to kind of officially close things out. You can see the names below the stream, too. Um, while I've changed my donation goal and everything back to normal, uh, there's still a St. Jude section to kind of talk about the campaign. Um, that is below so you can continue to donate to st. Jude throughout the year It's not like oh this events over so now we don't have to worry about it ever again I wish it worked that way, but it doesn't there's there's still patients. There's still families in need So please consider donating in the future as well um, but here are all of our donors so um, Here are all of our donors to st. Jude and I had to take off Sorry if anybody tried to night bot just now I had to take off the alert because the events over and I had text that was like it's going on So I was like I gotta change that to something else uh, But anyway don't the donors are Alexa zero Angelia Haywood aquatic fish 22 Asbeth, Beastamon 469 Casanova 64 Christina M Cole the camel David Alexander 64 Emma G7 Ethan 64 Freelancer645, Frogo, Go4Alex, HamiltonJP22, Heartbleeder14, It's Crazy Cookie, J Palm, Kaboomic, Kitty, Madam Toadstool, Mario Gamerable, Master Starman, Mr. Wario, Nyrene, Odin Spec, 
Panda Plays 6 6 4 Paper Toad 1321, Phantom Tempest, Pineapple for Fun, Pixel Plume, Rainbow Road 1996, Roy 11037, Scottman 895, Schliam the Worm, Cerulean Seal, Shy Guy for Days, Snack Attack 8, Psycho Nacho Man, Talentless Hack, The Twy King, The Twitch Spy, TK Bomber 7285, and Yo Yo Yoshi 95. Thank you guys so much for your donations to St. Jude this year. You are heroes, all of you. Thank you so, so much. <clears throat> And excuse me, my voice is gonna be like, ah, yes, happy Pride Month, happy June, it is Pride Month. Um, but just to kind of cap things off for St. Jude, you can donate anytime at stjude.org, so please consider doing so. Um, okay, so, um, I have one other little announcement. Mega Waluigi, those are not the Patreon names, those are the donors to St. Jude. Um, but we're about to talk about Patreon. Here are my patrons for the previous month. We're getting ready to renew now that it's June, so if you'd like to see your name up on this credits page, just visit the Patreon link below the stream, or you can type exclamation Patreon into the chat. I do have a quick update for this, too, and I meant to give this a while ago, but there was no, like, good time to talk about it, so... Uh, Carol the Sparrow, welcome to the stream as well. Um, but yeah, we have, um, we are on the path to partner. That's my, like, ultimate goal, uh, for Twitch right now, so that's what I'm gonna start focusing on, and one of the things I want to kind of, uh, promote a lot is consistency with my content, with the kind of content that I produce, and my current schedule is, um, half Mario Party, half... Animal Crossing. Thank you so much, Lucas Kobe, for the sub hype. Woot! I give you all the boz. Thank you so much for the sub hype. Um, but yeah, I want to promote consistency, and so I want to keep it like Mario Party and Animal Crossing, and if we have a pop-up thing, we do, but on regularly scheduled streams, I want to keep my content consistent. Um, so I had been, over the past couple months, I've gotten some requests through Patreon, I had like a request option, and they were really unrelated to the kind of content that I do, and so I wanted to change it to be like more, um, more form-fitting to what I do on my channel, um, so it wasn't just like a massive free-for-all and like, why is she playing this? She doesn't play this kind of stuff. So I wanted to, um, kind of add some construction to it, and instead of just taking away that, um, request option, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna change it to be like Mario Party Challenges only. So, um, for right now, I think that tier is full, but if anybody ever plans to join that tier later on, or a space becomes available or whatever, um, please note that we're gonna be doing, like, exclusively Mario Party Challenge from Patreon for, from now on. Um, I do have one challenge I need to do still that I'm gonna be combining with my Q&A, um, in a future stream that is unrelated, but it's a fun game, and it's a game I love that I haven't played in probably, like, oh, I want to say, like, 13 or 14 years, so that'll be a lot of fun, and it, I've only played it once, so, um, but anyway, so that's coming up still, that's a little bit backlogged, because obviously this past month is all about, has been all about St. Jude and raising money for charity, uh, so I just wanted to put that out there in case anybody's confused or anybody's on my Patreon and is like, hey, I was wanting to do, like, a challenge, but now I don't even see, like, an option available. Uh, it's just changed. So I wanted to kind of upgrade um, the whole system of that and make everybody aware so that way from now on, if you see, like, oh, so-and-so is issuing this Patreon challenge, like, that's why. So, um, and that's what it is. So anyway, those are my updates. I think we've covered everything. We're into a brand new month. Welcome to June. 2020's been kind of insane, but um, here we are. So, uh, Night Wish Reacts, welcome to the stream. You saw me at Twy King's Name That Game Tune. Oh, sweet. I know, I lost my title. I was really going for that last place title. I failed. Um, and JG is the boss 12. How's it going? Um, I figured, I knew you were Jeremy, but, but yeah. You find out, wait, I walk in to find out that you could upgrade PC RAM? Yes, girl, for sure. 
Um, and if you guys notice, my current personal donation goal is for upgraded RAM. So, um, because everything else has been met. I had, like, all these upgrades, and we raised money for a Nintendo Switch that was the Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch. It never re-released. We got too far with our town. It was like, okay, well, now we're going to erase all that we've done. I don't want to do that. So, we had to let go of that dream and move on to other dreams. So, we have, like, all kinds of upgrades that have happened and are still happening. Some things are still out of stock, but I do have the funds for them, so I just went ahead and listed them anyway. Um, as upgrades that have already happened, even though they haven't exactly happened yet. So, the newest, um, donation goal you'll be seeing is upgraded RAM. I need to upgrade my computer's RAM because it's really the only thing that is messed up about my system. Um, I've done a lot of digging with OD and research, and it seems like that's probably the culprit. Um, because everything else with my computer is absolutely fine, but you guys know I've had issues in the past for whatever reason. And so, I need to upgrade it, and I probably- it's probably a good idea anyway, so that's- that's what you're seeing there. But yeah. So, anyway, I think we're ready to get started now. I know that was like a lot, and that was a lot of talking and a long spiel. Uh, but I had a lot, um, that I wanted to kind of upgrade people on. So, okay. Now I need to change the game. So, give me a second. We are playing Mario Party 2. Oh, Pixie's got me! Thank you, Pixie. Always a step ahead, big Pixie the plume. Um, and thank you for changing that. Alright, and Scottman895, welcome to the stream as well. Okay, so we've got this crap going on, this fight, and sorry I had to cut the music off. I'm going to turn the music on for Mario Party 3. Two, not three, sorry. Not for Mario Party 3, that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, Pixie with the quick draw. Yes, girl. Okay. Um, yes, happy Monday, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Sorry that was like a long-winded spiel, but I just had a lot to say that was unrelated to anything else that we've been talking about this past month. So, to get back into the groove, Pizza Gamer 178 what's up, girl? Not much. Um, now, I don't want to say that the stream's going to be, like, short, but it's going to be a little bit shorter than usual, only because I still have, uh, quite a few things I need to update, um, in regards to setup. So, I'm probably just going to do, I, I kind of want to leave, what do I want to do? I could do, I really want to play Western Land. But we could play, like, either two 20-turn games, or we could do a 35-turn game of Western Land, and if we still have time, then we'll add some, uh, stadium onto it. So. Alright, Pixie, sounds good. Western Land, 35 turns. Let's Western Land. I don't know why I'm just in the mood for Western Land. I just had this song in my head, and I was like, you know what, let's do it. Uh, Shaliam the Worm, how's it going? Whoa, what's up with this hot rules land action? Yeah, we're playing either Western Land, you know what, we're just gonna play Western Land, forget it. We're, we're doing a 35 turn game of Western Land. Cause that's what I'm in the mood for. So that's what I'm gonna do. I love Western Land. I, it's funny because Horror Land's my favorite. But I think, um, and Spaceland is my second favorite, which is, like, apparently not many people's favorite. Guess who's not invited today? These, this fool. I'm not inviting him. It's too bad. I had to deal with him all day yesterday. I'm not doing it again. You guys get the choice between Peach or Yoshi, because I put the two bros that we didn't see yesterday in here. So. Um. Yeah, nobody likes so Whatever, Pixie. Oh, it's pretty- oh, it's pretty even. Alright, I'm seeing more Peach. We're going Peach. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for being part of that absolutely insane finale yesterday to those of you who were here. It was so much fun, and it was absolutely incredibly insane at one point, like, in the best possible way. Like, I couldn't even keep track of all that was happening. There were so many, like, donations coming in. So many, like, bits, subscriptions, like, uh, everything was exploding, and I was like, what? I, I mean, I was like, 
I, it was crazy. So thank you for that. Thank you so much for being here. All I, and I'm still pretty much in shock. Like, I feel like I couldn't even, like, emote properly because I was just like, what? Like, what is, what happened? Like, how, how did this happen? I, I don't know what's going on. Like, in a good way, again, but... Um, give me a second. I'm gonna edit this donation bar because I was fiddling around with it before- Ah! Okay, I was fiddling around with it before the stream and it, like, does not want to be the right size. Is that the right size? That well, looks better. We'll leave it like that. Okay. Um, anyway. What, kitty? Whatcha do? Whatcha do? She's yelling at me. Kitty's here. She did get her treat last night. I had another treat redemption and Kitty was nowhere to be found, so... I had to give her a treat after. I did. And guess what? I get to be Wario today. And every day from now on. <laughs> yeah! What? Okay. And of course I have to go freaking third. I can believe DK won because like 47 of those turns were mine, so I still can I still say I won. It's too bad. And Pizza Gamer redeemed a hydrate, so everybody take a drink. I'm drinking orange juice at the moment. Um Whatever, Pixie. Whatever I No. This, the hardest part about this board is that I always mash the A button no matter what, and then I pass that freaking hoot nanny, and I end up spending all my money having everybody drink. And I'm like, this is not what I wanted to do. Um, so... I have to be careful once I get into that top left corner. But... Anyway... I believe that um, the Animal Crossing stuff started today for wedding season finally. I think it's just like a photo op or something. I don't know. Don't spoil it because I don't know what it is yet. But like, um, I've got to I've gotta check it out after this. It did. It started. Woohoo! I don't like Cyrus or Reese, but I do like the idea of wedding stuff. So, yeah, no spoils. You just booted up your game, yes girl! But yeah, I'm excited about it. So after, I really need to like upgrade, or not upgrade, but update all my stuff, make sure it's all taken care of on Twitch. Um, I need to make a couple graphics too. Oh, come on! I need to make a couple um, graphics as well. Um, like I need to make a new starting soon screen and a new be right back screen because those were from St. Jude and then I got on today and I'm like, oh shoot, I don't, I need to make some of those of my own. So once I do that, then I'll probably get on and check it out. I'm excited. So. Oh, you're going to get married to Bangle. Sweet. <laughs> Who would I marry in my town currently? I have mostly girls. So the, the male options are Murphy, Biscuit, and Tank. Right, Kitty? Um, what am I doing? I, of course I want this item minigame. I'll probably marry Murphy. Because he's Murph, you know? Uh, that's probably who I'd marry. That or I'd be like, okay, just screw it. I'm marrying Tutu. Because she's a big cutie. <laughs> I'm marrying Tutu, never mind. Um, yeah. Anyway. I'd 100% marry Kurt in my town. Kurt with his terrible house. <laughs> I'd 100% marry Tutu. All right, Shliam, we're gonna have to fight for Tutu's love. <laughs> uh, no, why am I like a second behind, people? Oh, Casanova! Thank you so much for the 500 bits! <laughs> for the solid pinky 
moment. Thank you so much for the bits. Oh, thank you, thank you, Cass. You're awesome. I gotta give you some pinkies for that as soon as I... Oh my god, no. No, Luigi! Come on. Um... Where are my pinkies? Here we go. I'm giving you all the pinkies, Cass. Thank you so much. Uh, do I prefer cakes over cupcakes? I definitely prefer cake over cupcakes. I know that, like, people are like, well, it's both cake. But I don't know. Like, something about cupcakes I just don't like as much as, like, a good old-fashioned, like, slice of cake. Like, I, um, I know for, like, birthday parties and stuff, people have, like, cupcake cakes and I'm like this doesn't cut it for me I need a I need an actual cake like and if we're gonna have like individual cakes they need to be like individual little cakes not this cupcake nonsense so wow way to run over us all so anyway am I gonna add any more emotes I'm in the process of adding one currently I don't know how good it'll look though it looked kind of weird small um but cupcakes are disgusting what's wrong with you i didn't say cupcakes were, I, rub, cupcakes are still great but if i have my choice i want an actual cake um there's just more to enjoy with cake exactly but anyway i like cupcakes i definitely prefer cake so it's like i've been looking into a lot of different things for my wedding um, and that's one of the things that's like, you know, oh, what are you going to do for the cake? And I'm like, I just couldn't do the cupcake thing. Like, I would have to do cake. Oh, sweet. I got it right, like, immediately. Um, but yeah. I love lemon cake as well. Lemon cake, chocolate cake. Um, I don't like red velvet. It just tastes like fake sweetener to me. And so many people love red velvet cake, and I just, like, it just tastes artificial. I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like cheesecake, either. Like, I... If it's a flavored cheesecake, great. But, like, just plain cheesecake? No. Um, I don't want plain cheesecake. I would rather have, like, most other desserts. Let's not do a DQ ice cream cake, Odie. <laughs> Let's not do that. I'm wearing a white dress, okay? I don't want to pull a bridesmaids at my wedding. Um, lactose intolerant, remember? Anyway, uh, yeah. It, foo, you never got behind the red velvet hype either. I just, I don't know. Like, I can't do it. Um... I just can't do it, so. Oh my god, this is the worst minigame. Why do I have to be the one? I don't even want to play this, you guys. I wasn't even pressing the A button either. Like, I don't know how I got that. You would have had ice cream cake at your wedding. Hold on. But we- Yes! Oh my god, I love that ice cream truck you had at your wedding. That was an amazing idea. I was like, oh my god, there's an ice cream truck outside? Like, I was freaking out. I can have ice cream in small doses, but let me, let me put something straight here. DQ is soft serve. Therefore, I'm asking for it when I have when I have Dairy Queen. So, uh, Master Starman, how's it going? Why are we playing Mario Party 2 today? Cause Mario Party 2 is awesome. It's Mario Party Monday. We just play a random one on Monday. I was gonna have a vote, but I didn't have time to get it together. By the time I was like off the phone and had my bearings last night, it was like two in the morning, and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna post a poll now. Like, I need to go to bed. <laughs> so. And then I had too much to do today in switching everything back on Twitch. Um, 
Okay, well, I might as well steal from these fools before they steal from me. Um, but yeah. Ice cream is like my favorite dessert. So it sucks to be lactose intolerant. Six? Dumb. Yeah, I'll have a vote for next week for sure, because then we'll have, like, some time for it. There was hardly any time last night anyway. Cookies? I love cookies, too. Like, that's the thing. So. Yeah, exactly, little foo. My stomach kind of hates me when I have dairy, but I do it anyway. I do the same thing. But some, it's just, like, some is way worse than others. Like, soft serve is so much worse. So. But, you know, I don't want to, like, poop my pants in my wedding dress, so. We're gonna, we're gonna steer clear of that for that day. <laughs> Like I said, I don't want to pull a bridesmaids. I don't want to be like, crap, I just pooped in the street while I was, like, walking over here. So. We're just punching away. I feel like I won this all the time as a kid, and now I lose it almost every single time. Pineapple, absolutely not. Can you imagine being a woman and being like, oh, you get to wear a diaper on your wedding day. F no. Have you ever had a period? You can't talk unless you have. No, you don't like the diaper feeling. I understand why babies cry. <laughs> There's a reason we don't go to the New Year's celebration in New York City, okay? I'm not for this diaper hype. No. Anyway. Chugga, how's it going? I know jump kitches, kitches. Jump kicks do a lot more than the punches, but like every time I do it, I mess it up. So I just end up punching. Cause I always do something to mess it up and I'm like, come on. So. <laughs> I mess it up every time. I'll end up like way in front. I'm like, all right, we're not gonna do this. Somehow we won, though, so maybe maybe we're okay. I don't know. So. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Check out 33 coins. And, wait, what item do I even have? Do I have a chest? I think I do. A, a plunger chest? Um... Yeah, I think I have a chest, which I was about to say, and nobody else has any items, but now I think we might be okay. Although, I don't want any of these crap items, like, plus he lost anyway, so forget it. Yeah, plunger with the G, chest. G, invisible and silent. Alright, cool. We've gotten some pretty good mini games, at least. Um, yesterday, I won't lie, when I got this mini game, I was not I was watching Wario, and I was like, "Oh, I'm doing so good," and I was DK, but I still managed to win. So I was like, "Oh, I did something right." Sweet. Anyway, oh, Mega Waluigi redeemed a hydrate. Everybody take a drink. Shliam, have fun at the dentist. Thanks for stopping by. Anyway. Why? I was like, why did we all go this way? But then I remember Toad isn't- I was thinking he was in, like, the little plaza, but now he's down there. Now he's probably not going to be. Now he's probably gonna be in that little, like, plaza area, but... 
solid. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, never mind. We're on the way there, at least. We're on the way there! Yo, I need to hit up my girl Chose- Cho Chosey. Cholsey! Whenever we manage to do any sort of house con or whatever, be like, Hey, can you give me like a- Can you give me a cleaning while I'm here? <laughs> That's what I need to do. Be like, I need that dental cleaning. Let's go. It's like I need to find a new dentist, but like stuff's not a, stuff has not been open, you know. And so it's like, how are you gonna find a new dentist when nothing's open? I guess I could now, but it's so daunting. Like it kind of sucks. You know, the last thing you want to do is like, hey, let's let's find a new dentist today. I might as well use this because I can use the golden mushroom, but yeah, we're all gonna need that. It's true. It's true. No, give me this mushroom. Um, five. Ten. Okay. Six. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's Cholsey Dental Stream. No, I'm not button mashing. I'm not wasting all my money. Let me look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve, thirteen. Yes. Okay. I wanted to make sure I had enough. I was pretty sure I did. Is that a graveyard we just passed? Have I never noticed this before? I'm like never at the top of the board. I always get booted before before we get that far. So. Yeah, you were also suppo supposed to have an appointment before that, Odie, and you had a family emergency. <laughs> the family emergency being me laying in bed saying, I think I'll die if I get up right now. <laughs> I didn't mush button mash, I know. I did a good job for once. You did get that appointment made up. It was just hilarious. You're like, I can't come in, I've got a family emergency. <laughs> the family emergency was me. Feeling like I was seriously going to die if I got up right then and had to drive. So. No. <laughs> Not allowed. Oh, sweet! Give me this money! Oh, crap. Okay, well, never mind. The bank has been robbed. The bank has been robbed. When I was little, I always called Wiggler Miss Milk because I didn't know that Wiggler was, like, a named character. Like, I'd obviously seen Wiggler in, um... Super Mario, or, yeah, Super Mario World, but I was like, oh, well, she's, like, Miss Milk in this game. Like, I didn't hold on to, like, oh, they have the same names in every game. So. Oh my god. That was, like, the longest time without him doing anything. Anyway. Gonna semi-alert, gotta do big dishes! Alright, girl. Have fun with your dishes. Power 46, did I say hi to you? Welcome, if I didn't. Maybe I did and I just, like, haven't seen your name for a second. But yeah, so I always called her Miss Milk. Because I thought she had a different name in every game. I didn't realize Wiggler was always Wiggler, so... Phantom Tempest redeemed. Hydrate. Hydrate yourselves. Solid plunger chest. You know what's kind of cool? Is that that chest in Paper Mario could essentially be a plunger chest. Like in Mer Lovely's house that's linked to whatever room that is in Peach's Castle. It's essentially a plunger chest, kind of. 
Or a vanishing cabinet if you're like a Harry Potter fan. Oh, you snuck in. Okay, good. I didn't miss ya. Like, I didn't miss your name. I mean, I did. I missed you, I promise. Okay, big coop. I love this song. It's just so goofy. Guys, I finished the 18th book in the Pretty Little Liar series. I know I told you guys I was reading that series. 18 books. So while I can't really get into reading games, I can get into reading books. So check it out. Anyway. Anyway. Woohoo, girl! Uh, did I play Super Mario 6, like, Super Mario 64? I've never played Super Mario 64. I guess in theory I've played it. Um, you know, my cousins had it when we were little, but we saw them, like, once a year. So, Mario Gamer Bowl! Oh my god, what just happened? What? Oh my god! What just happened? <laughs> oh my god. Wow, Mario Gamerable with the like insane amount of gift subs! 20 gift subs? Holy crap! Oh my god, I was not expecting that. Thank you so much, Mario Gamerable. XJC is trash. X B1 Galbo's 1989. Irene. Sorry, I Ariana Kells. Oh my god. And thank you for the the bits. Oh my god. Thank you for the bits, Casanova. Wow. Thank you so much. Holy crap, I was not expecting yes. that. Okay, Choco Mimi 04, Fun Size Mikey, Iconic Queen, Fairy Crypt, Akela, Akela K, I think, An Anexica. I, I like cannot read some of these, I'm sorry. SJ War. Oh my god, I'm doing such a bad job at reading these. Dual Zaster. Knock upon XC pre XC priest tank mage D Zagara 19 Superstar Mario 20 got that one Ch Ducky Chucky Ducky 650 Chell Sizzle VG Music 2000 and Val Poet Holy crap oh my god Thank you so much, Mario Gamerable, for the incredible amount of gift subs, and thank you, Casanova, for the bits. Um, to everybody who just got a gift sub, congrats, and I give you all the bas. Welcome to the ba family. I think a Dorito snuck in there, sorry. And, um, I'm gonna give you some Frogos to- or, I meant to give you pinkies. Well, you get Frogos now. Um, Casanova. And to you, I give you- to Mario Gamerable, I give you pizza. Thank you so much for your generosity. Oh my god. That's crazy. I was not expecting that. I don't even know what I was talking about. Wow. Thank you so much. And now we're all against me and move to the music. How appropriate. Yeah, sneaky ninja Dorito. Punch. Come on, drop into a full split. He didn't drop into a full split. Oh, I think I was talking about Mario 64. Oh, shoot. Thank you so much for the follow, Pokemon fan 018. I. Oh, sweet. I outdanced him. <laughs> I've never legitimately played Mario 64. I've only messed around on my cousin's cartridge at Christmas or at Thanksgiving when I was really little. 
like six, seven years old. Um, and all I remember doing is sliding down, a, down the hallway and um, <clears throat> visiting Yoshi on the roof. Those are the only two things I ever really did. I uh, never really played the levels. I've seen Let's Plays of it, and I've seen people play it, but you know with, like, 3D platformers, like the- or, I don't know, maybe not 3D platformers, but, like, the 3D adventure-style games, like Banjo-Kazooie, and, you know, it's- it's one thing to watch a Let's Play, it's another to play it. Like, it feels totally different. Like, you guys remember when I played Banjo-Kazooie for the first time, and I was like, I swear I've watched a Let's Play of this, but I don't remember any of this crap. Like, none of it. So, it's just not a game I grew up with, and I think my parents' logic when they got us our N64 for Christmas was like, oh, well, their cousins have this, even though we saw them, like, once a year. Um, <clears throat> their cousins have this, so, you know, we'll get them a different game. Plus, it was one player. I had, I have three sisters, so they tried to get us games that were not one player, that were, like, meant for multiple people to play at the same time. So there wouldn't be fights. Because there would have been, so. So we got, like, Mario Kart first, and then we got Smash Bros. I think we got both of those with our N64. We got Mario Kart and Smash Bros. And then my sister asked for Yoshi Story. And, like, my mom didn't know it wasn't, it was a one-player game, but it didn't matter, because, like, we were pretty good about just watching each other play it, too. So, those were like our only N64 games for a really long time. Yoshi's Story, you know, it's levels though. It's not like free roaming. Why am I doing so bad at this? Are you serious? Peach, what? I never lose this. Okay, I don't know what just happened, but. Um. Yeah, Smash Bros was one of my first N64 games. And I played it. It was fun. It was so much fun to play with friends. I made a teenage boy cry, beating him once. Um, but yeah, that's just not my favorite game. So, anyway. But yeah, we had uh, Mario Kart, Smash Bros, and Yoshi Story. I don't even remember what the next game we got was. We rented so many games. We'd rent games all the time. I think maybe one of the next ones we got was Kirby 64 because I bought it with my allowance money. I saw it go on sale for like 10 bucks at the grocery store and I was like, I'm getting in on that girl. So, wait, how? why do I keep looking at this and not doing what I need to do? Okay, so this gets me closer. I don't know, what do you have? Um, no, I'm not gonna waste money on this crap. So, anyway. But yeah, we rented games like all the time. Like, I, I rented Mario Party for like years before I ever owned it. So, it was kinda like, by the time we rented it every week, it was like, should've bought, we could've bought the game like five times, but. You know, it's fine. Um, so. Ready, yo! I love the da 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 da! Oh, shoot. This is that. This, okay, this is one of those songs in Mario Party 2 that when I hear it, I cannot remember what the slot car derby music is from Mario Party 1 and vice versa. I'm like, oh, they're the same song. And they're not, but they are the same song in my mind for some reason. How were they so far behind? They were so far behind. Oh my. Anyway. I cannot. Ba <laughs> 
<clears throat> so anyway. No, don't. Why? Uh, come on, ladies. Like, no. I hate how they, the, okay, I hate how the computers have such an advantage when it comes to stealing. It's so annoying. Yes. Alright, thanks. Thanks, Toad. So the games we would rent, I, Depending on your age, you may or may not remember this, but, um, for a while, Blockbuster had, like, this kiosk that was, like, a Pokemon Snap kiosk where you could go play the game and then actually print out your pictures, but it was, like, always out of ink. Like, it was always out of ink. I don't think I ever printed pictures there once. I tried, and it was, like, out of order, out of ink. I couldn't do it. I'm like, you know, you can't, you can't reach the demand. Come on now. But, I remember that, <clears throat> and I, we hardly ever went to Blockbuster anyway, because it was like the most expensive rental place of them all. Um, but like, I remember me and my sisters like begging my dad to go to Blockbuster just for that, like, that thing. And then it was always broken, so we were eventually like, okay, forget it, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so... Oh, I jumped it! Jumped it. So. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, my my family didn't usually go to Blockbuster, but, like, we begged to go there just to see it. Um. <clears throat> but, yeah. Yes, there's somebody who, I saw recently a post on Twitter, somebody who, like, had a complete N64 collection. Like, every N64 system, every N64 game, every, like, N64 anything. Why have I landed on this twice and gotten nothing? He had it. And he had that kiosk. He had the Pokemon Snap kiosk. I'm like, that is so crazy. So, so crazy. Torpedo targets. Hey, remember when I won this by actually steering? I don't like doing that, because I'm- the computers, like, automatically know where to go, but... That's okay, because I'm the torpedo today- No! Come on, you guys! Why you gotta hit us? I think we're in a giant fishbowl, is that what we're supposed to believe right now? Because there are fish swimming around in here, I- I cannot. right now? Come on. With Mario, I was a better steerer than this. Like, I did a better job than you. What? Oh my god. We might as well just forget it now. We have like three seconds left and we've got none. Because Mario sucks too much. So, no. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> Mega Waluigi. It wasn't a video. It was just a post on Twitter like months ago. It was just a photo that I saw. I didn't see any video, but I'm sure there there are videos of people who've made the collections. Yeah, I think Odie sent it to me. I think Odie was like, "Hey, check out this guy's like complete N64 collection." I love the N64s that are like see-through, like my controller. I don't know that there's a purple one. I feel like there wasn't. But yeah. You could rent games at Microplay? That's kind of crazy. 
It's weird that microplay is gone now. Like, I... That was, like, the best place to go. In Canada, anyway, to get, like, new stuff. Because everywhere else is, like, super overpriced. Oh, well, Midwinter Cayman is in the house! What? Wait, there was a purple see-through in 64? Because this is my purple see-through controller, but this just came with that, like, um, that set that was, like, the atomic purple. But, yeah. I know, what the heck? Where are the see-through systems? They had the Game Boy Color that was, like, the purple see-through as well. The microplay that I used to go to with Odie went out, like, a couple months ago. They went out of business, like, right at, um... Oh my god, why am I so bad at this? They went out of business at, like, I am pressing B! At Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving. So, like, in November, they went out. I did not throw that to Luigi. I am pressing the B button. Oh my god, this- what? Oh my god, my controller is, like, stuck on something. I cannot. I don't know how I won because I kept dropping it. Stupid. Um. But yeah. I wish they had a yellow one. I don't think they did. I don't think they had like a see-through yellow. But yeah. There's a picture showing an early N64 console that was Atomic Purple, but it was never released. Well, why not? Give me that Atomic Purple N64. Give me that Atomic Purple Switch Lite, right? Like, give us a see-through Switch. That's what I want. A see-through Switch Lite. You know, they really need to figure out this whole transfer thing, because if they keep coming out with cool systems, it's like... Aren't we gonna want to be able to transfer, like, all of our data from our games to get, like, a different system? Like, isn't that the idea, Nintendo? I don't know. Kinda dumb. So. Torterra Bite, how's it going? Um. Yeah, I don't really know how I, how I did that. I wasn't really trying that hard, but I guess Peach just sucked. They really need to do something about- Yeah, they do! They need to do something about these Animal Crossing backups because... I'm on my third Switch! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See, like, that's the- I'm kind of in a... Yeah, like, the only Switch I'd be cool with, like, maybe... Trading- Or, be cool with trading the design or whatever would be my my regular old Switch, because it's a Splatoon Switch, which the colors are cool, but I have no connection to Splatoon whatsoever. Um, but I love the hot pink and lime green. Whatever, Peach, you suck. Anyway, so I, I love that, but, like, it's not really a game I care about. So, you know. I wouldn't care to, like, change it, but it, that was the whole idea behind the Animal Crossing Switch, and that, like, couldn't happen because... Once we got so far in our game, it was, like, pointless. It's like, well, I don't want to, like, just delete this all this time that we've invested into this in this design. So. <laughs> I got one at launch, and I sold it and bought an EV Pikachu edition one. Then I bought the AC one because I have an addiction. It's, it's pretty solid, too. I can't blame you. Um... I went through, well, first of all, I upgraded my, I got a 3DS at launch, and then I upgraded that to a 3DS XL when I saw it in the store, and everybody made fun of me, because they were like, what? It's the same thing. And then I showed it to them, and I was like, you think this is the same thing? The screen's like a million times bigger and better. And they were like, oh, maybe I should get one too then. I'm like, you guys are hypocrites. I was the one who upgraded this, and you were all making fun of me, like, oh, why did you need to get another one? It's like, mmm... So, anyway, I was like, no. So, I got... At the time, they only had, like, black, red, and blue. So, I got a blue one. And then, they came out with a pink one, and I was like, okay. So, then I switched to pink, and that's the one I have now. So. Luckily, I was able to use my 
3DS I got at launch. And that that's now my capture card. Because the guy who made the capture cards didn't... Oh, come on! He didn't have the, um... He didn't have the materials for an XL, only for regular. So I was like, well, that works out. So... Yeah, you see? Jeremy, that's what I'm talking about. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. Um... <clears throat> I, yeah, I have the, I didn't get a Switch at launch. Oh, yay, Rainbow Run! I didn't get a Switch at launch, because I waited. And, because I was kind of waiting for, like, more games to come out. And then I was also waiting on, like, a cooler color combination, so that's why I got the Splatoon one, because I do like the neon colors. It is really cute. You wouldn't even know it is Splatoon anyway. And it, it came with a game, too. It came with Splatoon. I'm terrible at it, but... And I, like, never play it, but, like, that's okay. I kind of wish that it had come with a physical copy so I could just sell it and, like, get a different game. But, alas, it's digital and I can't, like, transfer it to somebody either, so... I'm like, fine, get out of here. Recently, though, I don't think I even talked about this. It's not a loopy card, Master Starman. No, I know what you're talking about, but no, it's made by somebody else. Um, but yeah. I remember the clickbaitish video on the Switch launch date. What? I don't remember this. Um, but anyway, I... I don't know what I would... Uh, oh, I didn't even say this, but I won a contest recently. It was Odie who entered me in this contest, and he was like, hey, I entered you in this contest, whatever. And I won the Mario Rabbids, like, gold edition. I got a message from, like, Mario Rabbids on Twitter, and they're like, hey, you were nominated to play this game, and I'm like, what? <laughs> they're like, you won! So I got a free download of Mario Rabbids Gold Edition. I was like, this is pretty awesome. I haven't played it yet, but I own it now. It's on my Switch. I have two downloaded games on my Switch that I have yet to play. One is Mario Rabbids, and the other one is Stardew Valley. It's because I got Stardew Valley, like, right at the same time that I got um, Animal Crossing. And that's, like, all I've been playing, so it's been like, well... You know, sorry about your luck. Okay, what am I doing? I need to go... This is tempting, but at the same time... Wait, what? Where'd the star go? Oh, it's down there. Okay, well, maybe I should do this then. I only have three moves left, though. One, two, three. How many coins does... No, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do this, because... Peach is right there. I could get Boo this way. That'll be better. Um. But yeah. So, I love Grant Kirkhope. Yeah, he's like my favorite video game composer. And so, I know he did the music. And I'm like, I'm ready. I've heard some of the music just from YouTube. But... All right, we gotta do left, up, Z. Left, up, Z, left, down. Left, up, Z. Left, down. Right, 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 Z. <laughs> right, 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 Z, A. Wow, Peach, that was super creative on your part. <laughs> oh my god, that's so dumb. Yeah, what a great dance. Right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, Peach. Solid right. I, I don't know. Remember when I talked about the Wheel of Fortune? No, what was I talking about with Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. 
Peach, take your weird vest off. It looks weird with your dress. Oh, what? I don't have a key? Oh, hi, Nintenram64. Welcome to the stream. Tea. Are you talking about, like, how I said that, uh, the contestants yell? That was, like, a while ago, wasn't it? Yeah, I can't stand how the contestants yell their freaking letters on Wheel of Fortune. Come on! This takes, like, every muscle in my body, and I still get 22 taken. But anyway... Apparently you could use- what? I don't- No! You booted me out of my freaking boo zone! So dumb. I mean, you didn't, Wario. You just got booted by that whore. Lame. Where's my hidden block for all this crap? You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah. Then Tenram, I don't really know why everybody's saying T. We're, we're, we suddenly relapsed into talking about Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Which I was not talking about at all, so I don't know. Yeah, the boo zone. Bubba, shout out to Bubba who makes a come back in this game. He's in every single Mario Party. Like, he's in- he's obviously in Mario Party 1 on Yoshi's Tropical Island. Thank you. Um, and then he's in this game. He's in Abandoned Ship. And then he's in Mario Party 3 on the chilly Frigid Bridges. Ha. Did somebody say shoutouts to Bubba? Yeah, shoutouts to Bubba. Our favorite Smash boy. I know. Big Bubba. I've been going to his streams lately. He's been streaming uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke. I think I talked about... I don't know if I talked about this yesterday or the day before. I think it was yesterday because somebody redeemed a surprise workout. And I was like, oh, every time Bubba loses one of his Pokemon in his Nuzlocke run, he has to do 10 push-ups. Which is like my favorite part of it. So I can get a happening space, or I can get not a happening space. I'm just gonna get a happening space. I might as well go for this star if I'm nowhere near the actual star. So, anyway. But yeah. Um... <clears throat> No, I ran it about Wheel of Fortune, and Pixie said it was his dream to be on that show. That's what happened. I didn't say Pixie would be, like, fabulous on it. He, I, he said that he wanted to be on it as his dream, and I was like, you'd be too extra. Like, it's already extra enough. Be just too extra then. Oh my god. Why? I'm ready. You know what's the worst is minigame coaster with this crap. Ugh. My arm's gonna be cramped after this. dead last. Okay, good. I was pretty on par with the other people. Oh. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Okay. Oh. I mean, button mashers are my strength, but like, these are just rigged. I'm sorry. Rigged. And wrecked. Against hard CPUs, it's, like, impossible. Like, how- I don't understand-
understand why they programmed the hard CPUs to be that, like, good at button mashing. Like, did they not human test this? Like, oh, shoot. Like, that's actually not humanly possible. Whoops. So. I'm pretty, I'm, like I said, button mashers are my strength, but even that one sucks. Got item? Oh, I was ready for it. Never mind. Never mind! Yeah, Mega Marathon is one that should have been rotate the control stick. I believe. I believe it would have been so much better like that. But then people would have been like, oh my god, my hand's about to break off because they don't use the webbing. I don't want to play this again! No! Okay, well, I don't care. I'm I'm using this game as a break, because I don't care. Oh, she goes for me right away? See, my arm's too tired now. My arm's too tired! So. Yeah, exactly. You can see when Boo wants to steal money, they're overpowered. I wish they would have fixed that for the virtual console version, but they didn't, and it's like, you know, you had your chance, Nintendo. You could have fixed it. Not just programmed it the exact same way. Like, that's really annoying. But, you know. What do I know? Yeah, I do love that too. I love it when the CPUs use their skeleton key on a door and then they just don't go through it. It's pretty funny. This minigame is just so long. Like, I'm so over it. You know what? I bought more M&Ms yesterday. Why am I not, like, munching on those? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Had to grab my M&Ms. Bang. Anyway. Oh man, we just ran out of M&M. No! <laughs> Allie, you can't run out of the M&M hype! I gotta finish. I was making... I was upcycling some of my tea boxes into candy boxes. Um... I'll have to show you guys the progress. I'll grab them. So yeah, I've been upcycling these boxes into candy boxes and that was weird. Okay. So I have the Butterfinger box. So it's just like you know, the top just, like, slides. I can't just slide it this way. The top just, like, slides. Ugh, sorry, that made a really bad noise. Slide, slides off, and then you can put stuff in it. Um, so that's the Butterfinger one. And then this one I'm still working on. This is the M&M's one, but I'm still working on it because I want to add, like, the yellow M&M over here, red M&M over there. And then I'm making a Smarties one for Odie. So it's in the works too because um, I ran out of white paint, like white craft paint, and so. But yeah, those are my candy boxes I've been working on. They've been super fun to make though. Just to you, just to like, I've been trying to upcycle as much as possible to like, you know, prevent waste and especially right now, like I don't want to go out and buy materials. Like I'd rather just use what I have. So, that's what I've been doing. But yeah. Um, well, these are definitely Canadian Smarties, because American Smarties would never come like this. So, but yeah, those are my boxes that I've been making. So, thanks. Th thanks for the cute hype. Yeah, if it's for Odin, Canadian, obviously. 
He was the one who requested it because his favorite candy is like is Smarties. So anyway, but they're fun little candy boxes. So shout out to the blue M and M. Isn't he the nerdy one, or is he the like shy one? I can't remember who the blue M&M is. I think he might be sh shy? I don't know. I love the brown M&M. She's like a girly femme de la femme nerd. <clears throat> I got my picture with her in New York City. Because I ran up to her and screamed. It was super fun. The yellow M&M is the peanut guy who's like kind of dense. Blue the cool one? What? I don't think so. Here's the brown, girly. Green M&M. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Wario. Yeah. We're redeeming a, yeah. a treat for Kenny and Casanova with those butter car bits. I love the brown one, she's my favorite. Um, thank you so much for the bits, Cass. Kitty, where'd you go? Where did that kitty go? She must be hiding. She hasn't been out for me to give her treats lately. I've had to give them to her after the stream. And I have to like fake her out with her own food as treats because I keep forgetting to buy her new treats. I need to get her new food too, so. Next time I go to the store, I'm gonna get her food and treats so that way I can shake it and hopefully she'll come running out. <laughs> But thank you for the redemption. I'll be sure to get her something special. I, you know, this train has... It is kind of funny to think this train has a big old mustache and eyebrows, but no eyes. He has a nose, but no eyes. Hexagonal So... Green. Yeah, I sabotaged! Okay. I made Peach go. Pink. Oh, crap. Crap. No. Oh! Oh! That was close. Sabotage. Dang it, I tried to sabotage Wah. Or not Wah, just regular L. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, no! Ah! No! Oh, come on! Just lose! Yeah! <laughs> that was an intense battle! <laughs> That was pretty intense. The train is called Steamer. Okay, cool. Anyway, I hope you were on the edge for that um, intense battle that just ensued. Mark 3DG, how's it going? Um, dang it, freaking Bowser. On behalf of Bowser, I have to take five of your coins. You are on the edge of glory? Hot. I still need to get Lady Gaga's new CD. I need to get her new album. I wanted to download Britney Spears' new single. Which apparently got tagged to like her older album? I was like, what? I thought she came out with a new album, but it was just a new single. And I'm like, oh. That's weird that this was like tagged, tacked onto an existing album, but okay, from like four years ago. Wait, what? What is happening? Oh, I'm the flu. I thought I was the drums. <laughs> I 
I'm going for the ultimate loss, I guess. I don't know how I screwed that up so much, but yeah, so much for this mini game. Wow, I wonder who won. I don't know what I was doing. I was looking at the drums and I pressed it once and then I'm like, I think my finger was on my Z button. I don't know what, if that made a difference, but it was like non-stop, non-stop playing. So I don't really know what I was doing, but yeah. But, 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 I'm so tired of getting booted off of this railroad. Like, I'm so tired of it. Um. Alright, let's get a good one. We've gotten some pretty poopy ones so far, and I'm not a fan. Crazy cutters! I like this one, though. I also have no idea what turn we're on, so probably should look at that. Oh my god, I love this song, though. This is the Cake Factory song, and I'm pretty sure it only appears in Cake Factory and Crazy Cutter. Like, it's not in any other game, right? Why did I do so badly at this? There's no way I'm winning. Okay, I got second, so... Well, Luigi's was really bad. <laughs> Why did I do so badly at this? Um. Yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah, may, uh, I, I think you're a little, <laughs> I think you're a little behind there. Since Britney's album is four years old, but, you know. Clearly my controller's broken, obviously. Oh, get- no, you should've gotten that magic lamp for me. Magic lamp. Okay, bobsled run. We haven't seen this in this game yet, so... But yeah, that song is only in like those two mini games and it's such a catchy tune. I love how just putting an X on the penguins butts like is so accurate. Like if you have a cat, you know the kitty butt goes in your face a lot because that's what they do and an X is very accurate. <laughs> uh. It's funny because like kitties their butt is always like in the air but like Queen I have no idea what his butt looks like he has that little nub tail that's so cute his little pink nub tail that sticks out he hasn't been super active these past few nights, so I'm still a little worried about him. I think he's okay because he's been eating and drinking, but I haven't heard him on his wheel at all. Um, which is a little concerning, but... I don't know. He could just be, like, bruised or something. I'm hoping he's alright, though. So... What? How did I never know these were a thing? Oh my god. What? New record? What? I've had this game for like a million years and I'm getting a new record now? Oh my god. I don't know how that just happened. Uh, Doma x Doma, welcome. And yeah, Allison, they have the little penguin butts. They have the little x butts. I can't believe I got a new record after this owning this game for like 12 years or whatever. More than that. When did I get this? When did I own this game? I think I bought this game when I was 15. Like this cartridge. Because like I said, I rented it for years and years leading up to actually owning it. I was like 15 when I finally bought it. Um, let me think. Yeah, so it's like 14 years. 
Within the past 14 years, I've, I got a new record now? That's crazy. Cray. All right, thanks, Mario, for getting it out of that freaking dead zone that I couldn't get to anyway. Who's having sick? I don't know. I just got it at some point when I was 15. I don't know what year. I guess it could have been- it was either 2005 or 2006, probably. I'm trying to think of, like, what time of year I even bought this. I got it from eBay, and it was after I'd been selling on eBay, so I almost had to be 15. So I would say probably 2006. Probably, like, that spring or something, because that's when I got, like, all of the... Mario Party games that I was missing because all the GameCube ones at that time were like 10 bucks Because the Wii had just come out not that long before um, When did the Wii come out was it out yet? Would it have been out yet? Either it had just come out or it was coming out and so like all those Mario parties for GameCube were super cheap I seriously got all four Mario Parties for GameCube for like... Oh, ladies. We came out in 2006, so it was probably about to come- it was probably coming out. Um, it wasn't out yet, but we were at the end of the GameCube era, and that would have been... Yeah, so that means that I would have gotten all of those discs for like 40 bucks. I seriously got all four GameCube Mario Parties for $40. Wii was late 06. Okay, so it was coming out, but you know how, like, when the Switch was coming out, like, so many Wii games were suddenly, like, way cheap? It was the same, or, like, especially Wii games. Wii U games, too, but, like, it was just, like, ridiculous. You could get those games for so cheap, and for the longest time, you could get Animal Crossing for GameCube for 5 bucks from GameStop. It was a $5 game. Because I bought it for, like, four of my friends who didn't have it. Um. So, yeah. It's like, now, GameCube games are crazy. You would never find Animal Crossing for five bucks. But all- you could go to GameStop, they'd have multiple copies. Five dollars. Dory Guy! Hello, had a lot of drama at work, just want to pass out! Oh my god, I'm sorry to hear that, Dory Guy. Hope everything's going okay, though. Yeah, see? That's what I mean. I spent, like, an arm for AC. That's how it is now. They're crazy expensive now. One Mario Party for GameCube's probably, like, 80 to $100. And I got all four for 40 <laughs> So it was, like, just the right time. I seriously had four copies of Animal Crossing GameCube. I even did a giveaway on my channel where I gave away a copy of Animal Crossing on GameCube when I was doing the LP because it was $5 at GameStop. That's insane. I know! Yes, Master Starman, you were talking about that yesterday, how, like, it, you want to cry over how expensive they are. Yeah, it's true. GameCube had a killer library that just wasn't appreciated at its time. And they were like, oh, just get rid of this, you know, we'll sell it for cheap. But then later, it's like, oh, shoot, those are, like, the most sought after, like, most expensive games. Insane. Um. Marching band, welcome. I'm not sure what you mean. We had our finale yesterday. And the final number I have not, um, tweeted about yet. So, I'm saving that for after the stream. The big reveal. I mean, I revealed it at the end of yesterday, but, um... But yeah, I wanted to make, like, a formal post of the final number, so it wasn't like, hey, this was our final number, cool! Like, I wanted to make something more meaningful than just a sentence on this random Mario Party stream, so. Yeah, Peach, you're going- oh, wait a minute, she's on my team. Bowser, don't do it! Don't do it! Look at him running away now. Dang it! Come on! So annoying. I feel like Animal Crossing
passing amiibo festival still isn't that expensive though is it i don't know i for a long time it was like ten dollars or less that's a game i've never played on stream i think it's more so because like my wii u is almost never hooked up so i never think to play any of those games but um i definitely have it and i've also played it i played it with Odie at his house so, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've played it, though. But yeah. yeah. I saw the disc for Amiibo Festival for like $2.99 at GameStop. I was gonna say, there's no way it's expensive. I mean, they're still trying to get rid of all the Animal Crossing Amiibos they made in mass quantities. Like, if you go to Five Below, there's like a million there. Basically, anywhere I've ever been, they're like, three to five dollars usually for those amiibos which is kind of insane but okay we haven't seen this yet today <laughs> I just love how his eyes get beady if he loses Dang it! I hate you, Luigi. Hate it. I cannot. Yeah, Amiibo Festival is like the only Nintendo game discounted these days. Yeah, can you guys not, like, at, um, what Mr. Starman said. Adding the same person, like, every five seconds is really annoying. And it's actually in my rules that that's really annoying, so don't do it. <laughs> We're all here for the same reason. To have fun. Not to be harassed. Anyway. If you're having a conversation with somebody, that's fine. But, like, if you're just trying to get somebody's attention in the chat, like, that's really transparent and really cheap. So, shame on you. Anyway. So, now freaking Mario is going to land on this bank space. And I agree that he's probably going to win something. Even though I've landed on it twice and got nothing. What just happened? Mario got a star! That's what just happened. So. Oh, that's my money, probably. No, I landed on it. I don't know whose money that is, but see? He won something. I didn't get anything. So. Uh... Nobody has a- like, I've been waiting for somebody to get a lamp. And nobody has one. Um... Where is anybody? <clears throat> Peach is coming up on this boo. <clears throat> so she's probably gonna steal a star. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, sorry. Um, anyway, yeah, decline. She's probably gonna steal a star, but it's gonna be from Mario. So, I might as well just steal her star. So that way she doesn't just steal from me. Um, so... I have not checked out the wedding AC event yet, so no spoilers, please. Um, well, thank you, Nintendram. I coughed. <laughs> I coughed. I didn't sneeze, but I appreciate the, the bless. Um, but yeah. What the heck, you guys? Okay, well, Luigi has, like, not had a star this entire time, so maybe he can get one. Also, I don't even know what turn we're on. I have not checked in a really long time. Um... 
I do that to Odie all the time. I'm like, bless you, and he's like, I coughed. I'm like, well, it's not my fault that your coughs sound exactly the same as when you sneeze. So, uh, you know. I feel like I had some out. No! Come on. Also, we just have no what. Yeah, we have no words to respond to when people cough. Only when people sneeze. Only when people sneeze. Um. Okay, I was gonna check the turn count. Come on, you're delaying my turn count check. Let's go. Let's go. 28. Okay. Um. Meanwhile, I sneeze and literally jump up 10 feet! Obviously. Totally how it's done. Um. Some people say bless you for coughs, too. I've never heard anybody say bless you for coughs. Unless it's by mistake, but. Yeah, she's gonna steal from Mario. See, Toad, Toad agrees. Yeah. My go-to response for coughing has always been no dying allowed. It is, it's pee good. Pretty good. PG. Anyway. Listen, I am the most extra when I sneeze. I always unintentionally dab when I sneeze. Oh, whatever. She did this on purpose. She's such a... She's so manipulative. She's gonna pass by Boo this way, too, so... At this point, I probably should have stolen from Mario, because he has five stars now. It's okay. She'll steal from him. <clears throat> and then she'll probably get this star, and then they'll be tied, so... You do, Foo. I've seen you. You like sneeze and sneeze and sneeze. You do like so many tiny sneezes. And I'm like, huh, and I like do the ultimate dab, basically. But like, that's just how I sneeze, okay? It's, it's all about your posture. It's all about your, come on. It's all about your style. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> Anytime I sneeze, I almost always sneeze a second time. Isn't that weird? Like that doesn't usually if I sneeze, it's like one one solid blow. But like I always find it weird when that happens though. When you do sneeze and then it's like you have to sneeze like five more times for some reason. <laughs> Something about the sinuses. Although the surgeon who took out my wisdom teeth told me that everybody's like, um, what is it? <clears throat> Sinus, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Oh, hold on. I want to say like, uh, sinus cavities and I don't think that's right. What am I think? I guess that is right. That just sounded wrong in my head. He said everybody- everybody's sinus cavities are like a fingerprint. So you don't take after your dad, you don't take after your mom, it's not a genetic thing, it's like everybody's is unique to themselves. And I'm like, that is the weirdest thing. So he was saying, um, like I have a, a wider, like, sinus cavity or something, and so it affects things differently. So you could have like a smaller sinus cavity Boo, and that makes you sneeze like multiple times instead of once because he was saying that's why everybody like has different kinds of like reactions to different things like in regards to any of that because I like I can if I'm swimming regularly like I don't have to plug my nose underwater but if I flip over I absolutely do or water will just water will guaranteed go up my nose if I do like a flip in the water 
without plugging it, like with my fingers. But if I, if I just swim, like I don't have to plug it, it's fine. But some people, they can flip and they don't have, they can just, it's fine too. It's just, mine's wide enough where I can't do that. It's like so weird. <clears throat> I did have a system with, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. You told me about that. You had a cyst and a wisdom tooth in your nasal, or your nasal cavity, your sinus cavity. That's crazy. What's up, Mr. Bandy Power? How's it going? Um, I was a mutant. I miss swimming and being, you miss being in that swim body shit. Sw swim body. Swim boy shit. I guess swim body makes sense too. Okay, man, can you like naturally flip underwater without like plugging your nose or do you have to like literally blow out? Like, I know that's a really weird question, but you've like, you're like an actual swimmer, so. My cousin could just do whatever and she never had to plug her nose. And I'm like, dude, I have to like freaking, I have to freaking like plug or blow the crap out, which is like nasty. That's what I mean. Like, I know you have to do flip turns, so like, usually just exhale a little bit. I feel like if I just exhale a little bit, like all the water still is like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know why I can't flip. I would have to like use like, all my all my air. <laughs> yeah. I always thought that was so cool though, how that how you do like the flip turns in swimming. I also feel like I'd have terrible aim. I would like flip and then aim at the bottom and just smack and I'd be like, <laughs> why did I do this? I hate going underwater, so I just don't do it. I love going underwater, but like, yeah, I have to do like regular old like, woo, if I flip, that's the only time I have a problem. Like if I do a handstand, I have to do it like one-handed because otherwise I'm just asking for water to go up my nose. Okay, who, what, what do these people have? Um, I lead with my forehead, but like, because I definitely don't go in like this. Like, I go, I tuck it, because I do it the same way I would do, like, a tuck in gymnastics. But, like, it still wants to go up my nose. So, I don't know. I can see what you're saying, though. Yeah, if I just, like, went in like this, it would immediately be, like, open to it. But, yeah. I wish I had a private pool, yo. I love swimming, and I love being in the pool, but, like... You know, pretty much, and at this time, because of the virus and everything, like, you know, there are no, like, public pools open, for good reason. And, so unless you have a private pool, you just don't get the fun of swimming in the summer for the moment. And maybe not this summer, you know? Although, my pool had issues and was closed most of last summer, too. So I'm like, hello, when do we get this freaking pool ever again? First world problems, but still, it's annoying. Now I want to, let's, that's it, pool party, let's go. Pool party. Hot tub party, pool party. We're ready. Plan on going to water parks this summer to get over your fear of amusement park rides. Oh, that's a good idea. And But it, it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I guess it didn't happen, but that's a good idea. Sometimes freaking water slides can be just as brutal, though, or... I don't know. I've told the story before about always know what ladder you're, cr you're climbing before you jump down the slide. Because I made this mistake in Typhoon Lagoon in Disney World. I was like, oh, you know... I was like, I don't know where this staircase goes, so cool. I get to the top, it's like this... <laughs> it's like a shooter. Like, a straight down, they're like, alright, you ready? You're racing this person. I was like, I... what? And it was in a tunnel, and I'm like, oh my god, like, what am I doing? And... I mean, I had to just go. It was the only shooter I've ever done. And it was intense. <laughs> Not that that's what you would start with, but just know what you're climbing the steps for. 
I was so, I, it like knocked me out. Like I got to the bottom, I'm just like drowning at that point, you know, I'm like in the water laying there. They're like, go to your right. And I'm like, which way is that? Like, I'm like gasping for air. This person's pulling on my arm because I could, I was so disoriented. I didn't even know where I was. My bathing suit went all the way up my butt. It was terrible. <laughs> Mario Gamerable, thank you for the super intent vids. It took me a long time. Like, when I was little, I just could not do roller coasters. Like, I felt like I was gonna fall out. I was terrified. It took, like, the right roller coaster that felt like- that was, like, a very minor, like, roller coaster where I felt, like, totally, like, harnessed in for me to feel safe. And then I kind of, like, built up to what else I could do. And now I can pretty much go on any anything, but I kind of had to, like, get bigger, too. Like, I'm obviously, like, really thin, and as a kid, I was, like, you know, super skinny, super tiny. And a lot of the roller coasters that I could have gone on as a kid, they just had one bar, and the other person that rode it with me was almost was always guaranteed bigger than me. Had bigger legs, bigger thighs, so I'd be sticking up, and I'm like... You know, my body's gonna be flying. So I just could not, like, get past my fear for the longest time until I got, like, old enough where I had, a like, a big enough body to where it would, like, actually hit where it was supposed to. I could- it, it would, like, terrified me, so. I started out with, like, log flumes and stuff. Those were fun. And then I built my way up from there. Oh, sweet! Yes, Coop! Um... <clears throat> Really? You're the opposite? As a kid, you'd go on so much, but now you're aware of your own mortality. <laughs> I have a couple friends who are like that, too, who would literally ride anything as a little kid, but then they hit, like, 12, and they're like, I can't do this. So. Um. Exactly. Disney rides are really good about being, like, family-friendly in regards to, like, the thrill of it. And it's pretty obvious, like, what is the most thrilling and, like, you shouldn't go on if you're uncomfortable. Like, Tower of Terror. Unless you're, like, this poor child. When I went to Disneyland for the first time, there was this, um, guy with his, like, seriously, his, like, six-year-old daughter. We ended up on the Ferris wheel together. Um, it was me, Bree, this guy, and his six-year-old daughter. And we were on the Ferris wheel, and if you've ever been to Disney World, the big, like, Mickey Mouse Ferris wheel, it has... The regular part on the outside and then the inside the the carts move like they'll just kind of slide as you go around so it can be a little bit more thrilling so we did that and he was on it was with his daughter and he's like well we went on tower of terror yesterday because we didn't know what it was and i'm like oh my god that's like the worst thing to go on if you don't know what it is I guess that the, the little girl was pretty brave through it. He was like, that was a little too intense for us. <laughs> That's like my favorite ride though. Fave, fave bay. I'm just gonna steal this key. Cause I'm tired of dealing with it. Um. <clears throat> I love Tower of Terror, but I have like an anxiety attack every time I go on it regardless, even though I know what's gonna happen. Why? I want to use you right now so I don't have to deal with you. So. He was a champ, apparently. I've been on it so many times, and I've been on it... I've been on it when kids, like, break down and just start crying the whole time. It's like... Poor things. And you either get the good parents that are like, It'll be over soon, I'm s I'll, I promise! Where they're all like into it and then they get on it and it scares them. Or you have the terrible parents that are like, It's just a ride, like, stop crying! And I'm like, you are a horrible parent, why do you have a child? Stop. The fights you see ensue between families working in Disney World is absolutely insane. People cussing each other out, screaming the F-bomb at each other. It's crazy. But it all comes down to like, I don't know, this like pressure that families put on themselves when they go to Disney World because it's a lot of money. It's expensive to get like one day's admittance into the park. 
And so their theory is like, well, we spent like $200 per ticket, like every, we have to do everything and everything has to go according to plan and it just like, it doesn't happen that way. So. <laughs> oh my god, I scream bloody murder on that ride, Allison, every time. Tower of Terror, I scream bloody murder. Just with, without fail. Even though, again, I know what's gonna happen. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, that's true. People would, like, people do. They wear themselves out not taking breaks or not making time to, like, sit down and eat. And I'm like, you guys need to, like, chill. Like, this stuff's not going anywhere. Like, you're not gonna miss anything. But people, like, worry they're not gonna get enough in. And I'm like, you're getting less in by arguing. Like... It's funny, because when you work there, you you have absolutely no worry about your time. Like, I would seriously go to, like, Epcot and sit on a bench and read. <laughs> I would, like, take a book and be sitting there reading, and people are probably thinking, what the F is this girl doing here? Who's, like, sitting here reading in this, like, butterfly garden or whatever. But, you know, it just allowed you to do that. But I would notice... This was weird. I would notice sometimes, like, when I would do that, that suddenly all these families would, like, see me and then be sitting right next to me. Like, they'd all be sitting and, like, like, it was kind of like they saw me doing it, so it gave them permission, like, oh, that's okay to, like, sit down and not do anything for a second. And I was like, that is so weird. But it happened without fail every single time I did that. There would be, like, suddenly all these people around sitting there, like, taking a break. And I'm like, that's what you need to do! You need to do that naturally! So. Yeah, I feel like you need to make at least one day in Disney World where you're just enjoying your hotel. Like, because the hotels have a lot to offer too. And like downtown Disney or, or uh, Disney Springs now, whatever. Um, it's just like, you know, it has a lot to offer and people miss it by trying to shove too much in. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely, Allison. That's smart, because that's what you should do. Like, what? Did he lose? I didn't even try. What? <laughs> that's pretty great. I literally just put my controller down and was like, I'm taking a break. We're talking about taking breaks. Okay, I gotta... I gotta do something about Peach. What turn is this? Okay, last three. I need to get to Boo or something. Yeah, we won Crane Game for once on the team of three. So. Yeah, exactly, Dory Guy. That's a good plan, too. Like, when I had my family down to see me in Disney World, the first day was just downtown Disney and swimming at the hotel. Um... You know, just so you're not, like, super, you know, exhausted immediately. What? I am terrible at this game, so... Can't I do less than 20? Why can't I do less than 20? It's so dumb. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Yeah, like, I don't- I, I'm terrible at this minigame. Terrible. Terrible! So. Yeah, you missed. I think once you, like, once you have the benefit of having worked in Disney World and being able to go to the parks every single day and having access to the parks, like, all the time, it makes it so much more chill when you go back. Because it's like, I already know what I've seen that I don't need to see again. I know what's a worthwhile wait time and what isn't. I know what rides go down in wait time at this time of day and they're gonna be crazy at this other time of day. Um, you know, you just, you know way more than just somebody who vacations there every year would know. 
and it kind of it's kind of irritating because a lot of the time like I've told people like oh if you ever want to know like um, want advice or something for like how to go about your trip they're like well we go there every year and I'm like I don't think going there once a year for a couple days is the same as living there for months but you do you sure you know everything I forgot so people get very know-it-all when they come to like Disney planning for some reason and I'm like people come on like I can tell you the best place to watch the fireworks show but I guarantee you're gonna be like well we need to see the front of Cinderella's castle on Main Street and I'm gonna be like cool then you're gonna have literally the worst view possible but I guess you would know better because you go every year you've been there a collective five times as opposed to my like hundred times but you're right you probably know better <laughs> so annoying so yeah give me some of that hot advice I'll give you some of that hot advice, Pixie. Um, right, yeah. Disney Vacation Club is definitely worth it if you like... If you're up for something like that and you don't want to just be like, We have to do all the same stuff every single time. I'm down for your advice anytime you want! Allison, you didn't even like go to Disney World until after we met either, so like... I, I remember when you were like, when we'd both never been there, it's so weird now, because it's like, now you've been multiple times, now I like work down there, it's so funny, but, yeah, if you guys ever want any kind of advice, I'm here, and some things are probably outdated now, because I don't know what has changed, um, in regards to like, you know, some rides change. They, they change things around all the time, so it's not the same when people go back. So some things are probably, like, not accurate anymore. And, um, you know, back when Wishes was, like, the main... <laughs> back when Wishes was the main um, fireworks show, I would tell people, I'd be like, look, go to... I'm dead serious. Go to Liberty Square, sit on one of those benches, you'll have a seat, no one will be around, and the fireworks are literally over your head. But everybody would rush to Main Street and be way, way far away and see them from, like, in front of the castle. And I'm like, no. You're doing it wrong. Don't do that. <laughs> you can still see the castle, but they're right there. Like, what are you doing? That's where I would watch them. Or I would try and I'd time it. So they'd announce the fireworks, everybody would leave and rush away, and I'd be like, yes! So I'd go to Dumbo. And you would, if you rode Dumbo, when it started, you watched them on Dumbo, like, up in the air, like, while it was happening, and no one was, no one was in line for Dumbo. They didn't care about Dumbo anymore. So it was like, alright. So watching the fireworks from either Dumbo or Liberty Square was the best. And at the time, like, the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train or whatever was, like, the newest ride, and... Um, it would have a two hour to three hour wait throughout the entire day until the fireworks show. And it's like, go oh, get on it! That's the start of the fireworks show! You can still see them! So it was funny. So. Um. You look, wait, you booked us a spiffy dessert party with special fireworks view? Oh my god, that's so cool! That's awesome. I always say, too, I'm like, do a character breakfast. Like, even if you don't care, or if you say, like, I don't really care about- No, do a character breakfast. <laughs> it's so worth it. What item do I have? Oh, I have that freaking key. Um. I haven't been there in years now, either. My internship was in 2015. I went back for a reunion trip in 2016, and now it's like, holy crap, that was like four years ago this September. Like, how has it been four years since then? And I keep wanting to do another trip, but it's like, things keep coming up. Things keep popping up. Wait, did he seriously just steal from her when I had more coins? Mario! Wow, Mario, I'm so touched. Um, but yeah, I... I don't know what I was saying. Oh. 
I keep wanting to plan a trip to go back, but then yeah, things keep happening and it's like now I'm planning for a wedding and it's like, all right, we have to be smart so we can actually go on a honeymoon and all that good stuff, but. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm giving the middle finger to his boo. Peach getting wrecked. I'm glad it wasn't like, oh my god, duel. And I still can't use this key. Too bad I didn't save my freaking plunger chest for Luigi's dumb magic lamp that he's gonna use. So. Um... You didn't end up doing a character breakfast this time. We did have breakfast with at Be Our Guest. Nice. I ate at Be Our Guest the last time I went there. I had... What did I have? I got their French onion soup. So good. But... Madam Mom, how's it going? Did Disney World open back up? I feel like they did some kind of phase one opening, but I don't really know what it even means. I'm not really sure. Um, so, I love Gaston's. Yes, Gaston's my favorite. I actually prefer it over Be Our Guest, because they have like the best desserts. That, um... The, like, slushy... God, what is it even called? I have the mug from it. The, like, um... I want to say butterbeer, and that's 100% not it, because that's in Universal. Um, I love Gaston's. I love getting dessert there. So good. And I love going to Cheshire Cat to get their hot chocolate. Go on the teacups, go to Cheshire, get hot chocolate, and then walk around Fantasyland for a minute. It's a good time, so. How's the game going? Well, it's kind of a close game. I, it's gonna come down to bonuses. I don't really know what's happening. Um, yeah, I think we're in the lead for coin star, so that's gonna be five. If we get the game star, that's six, but. Actually, we might have won this because even if like Mario gets the happening star, I'll have more coins. I don't know. I think we're good. So. Yes! I bought the slushy mug! So good. You were drinking it, and the Gaston portrait was facing him towards me. Gaston called out to me from across the planet and said, Hey! What? <laughs> Turn the mug around! <laughs> That's awesome. Gaston's such a fun character to, like, run into. Okay, 113. Woohoo! Okay, I think we might be good. The face characters are so awesome sometimes. Yay! I think we have this in the bag. Because I think no matter who gets this happening star... Yeah, like, I'm, I have more coins than he does. Yay! He stole from Peach and he cost himself the game. I know, playing a Disney villain at Disney World must be fun, for sure. Casanova's giving it a bah! <laughs> uh. Alright, time for this epic... Oh my god, sorry, there's something in my eye. Time for this epic, like, re revile. Girl, and Armand read even a bah! Who's over there? Whoa, it's Big Dip, Wario. You're meaning, uh, are you meaning you're here? Wait, what did he say? Are you meaning you're interfering? I don't even know what he said. I missed it. I've only seen it like a million times too. Solid Wario win. Uh-oh, but you're too tall, Bowser. Shoot. Are you meaning to interfere? Thanks, Pixie. I'm glad that I couldn't get it right, but... We got facelift. No, we didn't get facelift at all. We did not. We did not. Yeah, play that banjo. That's his celebration. Yay, you are the superstar, ladies. 
My hand is in front of Luigi's face. Yeah, Banjo confirmed, obviously. <laughs> huh. Yeah, no coconut gun. No. Freaking coconut gun. Yep, so I won by coins. Which would be what? Like a big A rank? C rank? I don't even know. That doesn't exist in this game, so it doesn't matter. Number of minigame coins collected. It was a landslide. I knew I had the highest number, because I was like... People got sort of close, but I knew I still had like a higher amount. Dang, I got a lot of item spaces, and I didn't really get to utilize all of them. No Bowser spaces! No Bowser or chance time! It's kind of crazy. Well. Interesting. Um. Hot. Well, that was pretty successful. I honestly was not sure I was gonna win. I was because it kept going back and forth between Mario and Peach. But that worked out. Like I said, if Mario hadn't stolen from Peach and had stolen from me, I would have lost. But he was nice to me. He gave, he basically gave me the game. So, it's pretty hot. Red Yoshi, how's it going? Um, so, I'm honestly going to keep the stream a little shorter today, you guys. I know that it, it kind of... It's shorter than usual, or than I've uh, been streaming for the past month. But I still have quite a few things to change back um, and to work on for my stream layout. And I'd like to get them done before tomorrow so it's not all poopy. Um, and I also want to uh, post for St. Jude, finally get that post out there. I meant to do it last night, but then I didn't have the chance. So um, we're going to play some facelift first, though. We'll do some... We'll do some minigame requests. How about that? So. Let's do some minigame requests. Let's do super hard. We'll start with facelift. And then I'll I'll use Nightbot and we'll kind of roll it and let somebody else pick a game. So we'll do some minigame requests and then we'll probably close out here in the next, like, ten minutes or something like that. Um. <clears throat> well, how- wait a minute. Where's my keyword? Well, maybe I don't need keyword. I'll just do active users. All right, so um, if you want to be eligible to choose a minigame, just you can type literally anything in the chat. It doesn't have to be any specific word. Um, but I'm gonna start not with this. I'm gonna start out with my favorite minigame to give everybody a chance to get in there. Um, and that is going to be facelift. Isn't that hot? So. What about item mini? I, I don't care what the mini game is. I mean, if it's a mini game, I'll, I'll play it. Um, what do I want to do? Let's just do Wario's face. Let's do it. Because Wario's face is fun. Wow. Okay, we got to manipulate the jaw. Uh the ears down and the mustache up. I feel like this is an easier face. I don't even know if his nose is moved at all. No, I think it is. Or wait, maybe not. I don't know. I feel like I messed it up. I don't know. 97. All right. So who's going to pick the next mini game? It's going to be Casanova64 picking the next mini game. So Casanova, pick a mini game and we'll play it. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> oh my god. Pick a mini game. Excuse me. Deep Sea Salvage. Alright. I don't think we saw that one today either. I kind of wish these were in like alphabetical order. 
It's literally the last one. Like, why? Why is it the last one? Alright. Yeah! Toad? Toad and Spack. Yeah, give me that coin bag. Oh, let's try to- Stop hoarding the top, you two! Both of them are like, I'm gonna stand at the very top. And I'm getting bombed over here. Dang it. Oh, wow! Luigi missed! 28, 29, whoa! Check out my age hype. Wow, Peach and Mario got four. 29. Nice, 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 nice. All right, Odin spec. Time to pick a mini game. Big Odie gets to pick. <laughs> rigged. <laughs> it's not rigged, I swear. You know I want that Bowser's big blast. All right. Let's do it. We're, we'll do Bowser's Big Blast for Odie. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Alright. I'll pick three more after this. I'll think, I think I'll do five. Alright. Here we go. Let's work. We're gonna use my same strategy. You don't have to say anything, Armand. You just have to be active in the chat. So if you've typed something in the chat in like the last few minutes, you're you're automatically entered. No, you stole my. You'll. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it was a good thing. She stole my. Uh, she stole my color. I'll go for pink. Well, I don't know. Should I? No, I'll go for pink or purple, whatever. Woo! <laughs> Watch it be the same. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, they're all picking my colors. Come on, you guys. One of you had to pick green. I'm picking the same one again. No! I should have picked yellow! Lame. I get freaking third. All right, let's root, let's, we'll root for Mario. We'll root for Mario because he could have won the last game, but he just kind of chose not to. Uh-oh. Come on, Mar, you got this. Guess not. All right, Luigi wins by not, I mean, I guess he had to do something, but you know. All right, let's get our next game going by Red Yoshi2233 picking the next mini game. <laughs> Luigi didn't suck? What? I don't understand. Cake Factory. Yay! Two versus two Cake Factory. Here we go. Um. And oh, whatever, we'll be on a team with Peach. Just for the irony. So that I can blame if we lose on her. Okay, give me the cake. I want the cake. Yes, I get the cake. Okay. Oh my god, how are they getting like 400? Dang it, I messed it up. Okay. No! What? No. Oh my god, we're loot. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop sending these strawberries down without any cake. 16. We suck. Uh, oh my god, we're so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, choosing the next mini game is gonna be. JG is the boss 12 choosing the next mini game hype. <laughs> Pick your mini game. 16 is pretty high, that's true. They're on super, super hard, so. 
Um, performing games are my favorite, so platform pair. Performing. I just read that as performing games are my favorite. Well, they are, but platforming games are your favorite, for real. So, let's get some platform peril in here, because I, I won this and then I choked at it, like, once. Because I was talking. I was too heavily into conversation. Yeah. Mini game party, cheese silver, for sure. I think, did you just get here? I don't know if I said hi to you yet. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Nightbot makes it so much easier to like randomize stuff. And then you can just blame freaking Nightbot. Even though he chooses himself a lot. Oh, Luigi. Wait, they're on super hard and Luigi died? I pressed A. I really did. Okay, if you hadn't gone for that one cent, Mario, you could have won, but you were too dumb. Wrecked. I guess I was on super hard too. Uh, Freaking Nightbot choosing himself again. Are you serious? I'm telling you guys, Nightbot is like, I want to win. No. Also, no more videos. So videos stupid. Stress and your heart rate. More stress Why does Nightbot so always pick himself? Mario Yeah, not Nightbot again. Nightbot cheats. That's that's the the true statement. Okay, Nightbot, you need to give it up. Oh my God, he gave it to Stream. <laughs> what is with the bots? No, do not. It's rigged. It's rigged. I'm trying to get this final mini game, and it's picking all the bots. It's so dumb. Are you serious? All right, pineapple for fun is gonna be choosing this mi next mini game. Oh my god, it picked an actual person this time. It is. It's wrecked. I don't understand. The nightbot getting selfish. Like I'll give it to myself, and then if I can't win, then I'm gonna give it to. Um, then I'm gonna give it to. Uh, Freaking stream labs. All right, I'm get, I'm kicking a peach off my team. I'm going with Mario. We're playing Cake Factory again. Wow. Okay, we'll we'll do we'll do one more after this because the, we're gonna say that pineapples, Nightbot, and then we'll somebody else can be stream labs. I mean, it's the same thing, but <laughs> oh sweet, I get the cake again. Mario, we're like choking compared to them. He took like forever to get like that third strawberry on there. Oh my god, I suck. No, we caught up! No! Okay, finally. Don't send your freaking straw- 16 again! We suck. <laughs> yeah, what if Nightbot becomes Streamlabs? Alright, we'll do one more. I know I said that would be the last one, but we'll do one more because it was a repeat, so. Big Mark 3DG is gonna be choosing the final mini game. Yeah, solid bops. I can't believe we lost both times, though. And it was bad. It was not good either time that we lost. So Mark 3DG, if you've got a minigame, shout it out, girl. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> it kind of sucks that you have to like play hard minigame coaster to get like the best minigames in the game, which I think are the battle ones, but um Mark 3DG, are you there? If not, we'll pick somebody else. We'll roll it one more time. Yeah, I don't know if Mark 3DG is there. Oh, Big Honeycomb Havoc! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, Honeycomb Havoc. Here we go! Can we win by... 
This is really funny when you win this one by like not- Yeah, saving the worst for last. Oh my gosh. So, solid last minigame. This was like the first minigame I ever played from Mario Party 2. And it was in this mode. Like, it was set up at Toys R Us in this mode on the minigame, um, uh, minigame park. And it was set to this, and I'm like, oh, cool, I'll play this. And it took forever. Like, I remember this minigame took forever. Like, and, you know, when you're in Toys R Us, you want to run around and, like, do stuff. But I was stuck playing this minigame for, like, five minutes, so. <laughs> Solid last minigame. Terrible. See, Look Away's a good one. Look Away's a good first minigame. This is not. This is a terrible first minigame. <clears throat> you see, my voice didn't even want to say it. It was like, yeah, it sucks. Oh, abandoned ship is a terrible first, too. Worse than this? I don't know. It's, it's faster than this, at least. Okay, Luigi. Oh, oh, we're winning. We're winning. Yeah. Oh, Luigi. You had your chance, but you failed. You failed. All right, ladies. Well, with that, that's going to do it. For today's Strem de la Strem, I know we're running a little bit on the short side, um, but I just have a lot of things I need to do in regards to my Twitch channel to get everything uh, back to normal and ready for June. I tried to kind of frantically do some things before the stream, but I just have a couple things I want to I want to take care of before tomorrow's stream since I didn't have the chance last night. But thank you guys so much for the hype. I'm going to get the credits rolling here. So let me pull up the credits before you go so you can see your fabulous names displayed if you are somebody who uh, contributed to the stream today. Uh, let's see. What's going on over here? Where's my... Where did the credits... There we go. Where did my credits go, ladies? Okay. Here we go. Let's roll credits live. All right, so thank you guys so much for being here. Um, it's been a fun Monday. Cheers from Casanova, Mario Gamerable, and Scottman. Thank you so much for those. Thank you to all my mods who are here currently. Um, and thank you for the new follow, Pokemon fan. And to all the subs and resubs, huge thank you to Mario Gamerable for so many gift subs today. Um, and I feel like we had more... Did, did we have more gift subs? I think that all the gift subs today were from Mario Gamerable, but thank you to those of you who resubscribed on your own or subscribed on your own. Thank you for your support. My regular schedule is Monday, Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, so I'll be back tomorrow with Animal Crossing New Horizons. We're gonna work on some new areas. I said we'd were, we would do that on last Saturday, and then we ended up visiting uh, friends' towns instead, so that was a lot of fun. It's a little easier to see during the day anyway, so I think it's better to like work on town stuff um, during the day for the most part. So we'll we'll work on some new areas tomorrow. It'll be a very like relaxed stream. Um, and I want to thank everybody again for participating in last month's St. Jude campaign. 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 Thank you so much for your support to my St. Jude Play Live campaign from the previous month. I had an absolute blast. Um, everyone, stay safe. Stay healthy. Happy Pride to everybody um, for the month of June. Pride. It's Pride Month, so represent, you know. And then I will see you guys, if I don't see you tomorrow, at 1 p.m. Eastern. I also stream Friday, Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Friday, we're going to be playing Mario Party 5. Saturday, it's more Animal Crossing New Horizons. And we've got lots of pop-up streams um, in the works, too, that are coming for... Um, for... Uh, St. Jude. So those are still to hap still to come. Uh, but thank every thank you everybody for being here. I I guess we could raid um, Corazon Peach because they're live right now. So let's get a, a solid hashtag. Um, 
what is something something weird that we said today? I don't even know. Hashtag. I don't even know. Hashtag I don't even know. It's not a good hashtag though. Um. All right. Let's just do. We'll do Wario wins. Oh shoot! What did I do? There we go. Oh, and we can do Pride Month too. Pride. Ah! Pride Month. <laughs> no Wario cheats. He won legitimately. He won legitimately. Nightbot cheats though. That's for sure. Might as well spread the love. He's playing some Mario Kart 8. Uh, Corazon Peach is pretty awesome. So. So we'll get this raid going. So thank you guys so much for being here. Cor yeah, Nightbot Cheats. That's a good one too. Corazon. I almost said Corazon Cheats. It's Corazon Peach. You can feel free to, to include Nightbot Cheats because it's accurate. So, cool. All right, love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.